Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hello, and welcome back to Katamari. Um, Aaron's laughing. Why? Do you remember? <laughs> do you remember when that song, in like I want to say like the early two thousands, mm -hmm. remember when that song, bow wow wow you b o you b a bow wow you b o you b a. Yeah, it was, I believe it was Snoop Dogg. <laughs> yeah. That shit was everywhere. Yes, it was. It was in like every movie trailer. Yup. Wow, right. just wasn't expecting you to laugh that hard about it. <laughs> I just, for some reason, it just came, popped into my head right when we started the episode. It's A-OK. -okay. The, the oh, mouse is on. The, yeah. Mouse. Oh, get oh, the- There you go. What the shit? No, I understand. We're refreshed. We- I had half a sandwich. You're drinking whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Buenos dias! <laughs> I went and made tanky. And now it's time to play Katamari. Dude, I took the cleanest shit. Alright. You know? I was trying to keep it cute and light by calling P Tinky. It was pretty light. And you just dropped the eggs. It was it was it was a ghost. It was a ghost wipe. You know? You go in and you're like, <sighs> and there's just nothing there. Wow. It was clean. Like the kind like you're like, did I even What the hell is that? Did I even take a is shit? Is that the fan? Oh yes, it is the it is the fan. It's like ringing. What the hell? Oh yeah, it sounds like there's a, a cricket stuck in the fan. You like turn that off or down? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, let's let's oh. let's go off. Off is fine. Oh yeah, there's the fan. No, it was the fan. No, huh. no, that's that's really high. That's too much. It's too much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Okay. Wow, that was just like straight ringing. It's weird. It's, it's still ringing even a little bit. Is there something stuck in there? Like a bell? It's okay, it's, it's good. It's not- it's not quite w ringing at the five level. Supposedly, with the Dyson fans, four is where it starts becoming silent mode. Really? Yeah. Wow. So that's what it was at, and it started ringing. It was at five. Damn. My bad. <laughs> so, this is- this is a lot of information. I didn't even see what's happening in Katamari. Uh, I'm in a level- it's the same fucking level. I've done this like three times now. But this is the best song in the in the game. This is great. Uh, but anyway, that I'm, is a very pleasing keyboard sample, right? It's, Man, it's very old school video game. It's just there's something about this era of video games. This like PS2, very Japanese, mm -hmm. like just it was just full of creativity and fun and whimsy. Mm -hmm. And I and I. I'm very endeared to it. I, I miss these Wednesday. days. I feel like indie games are trying to replicate it and <laughs> half succeeding. The mainstream games don't do this kind of thing anymore? Hell nah, bro! Really? Yeah, man. Triple A games, man, they're all fucking Call of Duty shooter man. <laughs> Call of Duty zombie man. They're. Are you saying they're too, like, movie like and realistic? Yeah, they're and just trying to go all out and fucking do all this garbage. And it's like, this was a fucking. No, I guess it's like 30 bucks when it came out, but still. <laughs> this is made by Namco! Namco! <laughs> Huge company creator of Pac-Man? Is that right? Oh yeah, I guess so. Like, fuck! Wow, that's cool. Now Namco doesn't give a shit. D what do they do now? I don't know, man. They probably make... No, they made fucking Dark Souls. Did they really? What am I talking about? Yeah. The, the company that made Dark Souls also made Pac-Man? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh. it was quite a time difference. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Woo! Woo <laughs> <laughs> Woo-wee! So, my Rolfer. Uh-huh. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Rolfing is like a, it's like a very deep massage. The whole- the whole meme about Rolfing is that, like, they get into your butthole and shit. I don't remember that happening. No, no, I mean, I don't do it. That's a real thing? Yeah, yeah, they'll go in, like, your mouth and your butthole and, and they'll, like, work those muscles. That's a little too much for me. Yeah. But anyway, I- I don't- I don't do that. It's fine. If I did, I'd tell you. It's okay, man, I didn't ask. But I don't. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway. My Rolfer. Man, I cannot stress how much <laughs> I don't do that. 
my Rolfer, he's a bit of a jokester. And, uh, he loves- Sometimes he'll do butt play. <laughs> <laughs> Just as a joke, though! It's as a funny joke! It doesn't count! Okay, yeah. And I laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Mostly because of the sphincter tickling. <laughs> you can't help it, it's a natural response. Yeah. To get <laughs> sphincter tingled. And I would know. Yeah, it's, it's one of those laughs. I see a rolfer. Ho ho! Ho! Woo! Hooey! Oh, man! Oh, man! <laughs> but anyway, he's, he's, been, he's really been obsessed with the word poonan lately. <laughs> what does that mean? You know, like poonanny. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Obsessed in what way? He just likes to say it. Huh. So I'll just be like, yeah, How does man. It come up. Getting some getting some poonan lately. <laughs> it just always kills me. That is funny. It's so stupid. It's it's a it's it's an it's one of those things that no matter when someone says it, it's always out of left field. Yeah. <laughs> You're not expecting to hear it. <laughs> Danny been getting a lot of poonan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's there's, funny, like... There's gotta be somebody out there that uses it in earnest. Are you kidding? Still. There's people that use every word you can think of in earnest. Yeah. What were you gonna say? I can't remember. You derailed me with that Poonan sorry. commentary. I'm talking about Poonan over here. <laughs> What's the problem, man? Just talking about Poonan! <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to get some Poonan What's the here. issue? That's a tiny cat. Uh, maybe these are just big spiders. Hadn't thought of that. I'm 24 centimeters, so yeah, it was a tiny cat, you're right. My bad. This song's great. Right? It's Lonely Rolling Star, is what it's called. You can look it up. It's usually on- I think it's on Spotify. Really? Yeah. So if it, you want to give- by? I don't know, some artist. But I mean, like, is it- Whoa. Is it by, like, an in-house? kind of thing, or is it- was it a song that was, uh, contracted? Oh, like a- like a pop star? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. You know? I don't know. Man, those dandelions really have strong roots. Yeah. And leaves. Um, but, 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 what I was gonna say... Oh, I literally don't remember at all what I was Wow, say. Aaron. You know that's a sipping whiskey, right? You're not supposed to just fucking down it. Yeah, I put a little water in it. <laughs> just gotta open it up. You can't fucking tell me. No, 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 what were we talking about, though? We are talking about Poonan, and then you said, small, <laughs> that's a small cat. And then... You said people used words in earnest. And then we were talking about, was this... Who made this song? Right! Okay. Forget it, then. Because that, that was... It was relevant to what we were talking about, and now it's just gonna sound like it's coming out of left field. Are you sure? Yeah. We just gave a full recap of what we were talking about. Okay, I was gonna say... <laughs> yes, this song is probably on Spotify if you want the artist to get three cents. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. For your listen. It... Uh... It's some, not really a joke more than it is, like, anger. No, sometimes- sometimes I'll... I'll say... I'll try to, like, help out, um... An artist that I feel should be getting more attention. Yeah. And, uh, inevitably some, like, I'll say, you know, check them out on Spotify, because they, that's usually, like, the one platform they're on. Yeah. And, um, and inevitably, a few people will always say, you know, you really shouldn't, uh, promote Spotify. They don't pay their artists very much. And I'm like, I know! <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of them! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know this, yeah. but, uh, musical artists, that's, uh, artists that make music. No one uh, knows more than me! <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, yeah, they don't really, uh, make a whole lot of money on Like, Spotify. it's okay, I appreciate you fighting for artists to make more money, but I don't know any other platform that they're on. And I'm on Spotify! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah man. I usually, I think the best, what is it, like, Apple Music or something? No, no, no. The, be the best one's Bandcamp. Bandcamp is good, but it just doesn't have the same reach. Right, right, right. But yeah, if you have an iPhone... Yeah, but it, it, if an artist is on Bandcamp, then... And and it's all the same to you, then for sure listen to them yeah. on that. Yeah, Susie and I will do that. We, if we... Su Susie doesn't really use Spotify, because she still thinks it's dumb. Right. Um, I use Spotify because I'm an asshole. And... <laughs> 
I if I find an artist I really like on Spotify because that's it's really good about that. You look at your daily playlists and it's oh, like, there there are amazing things about Spotify. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but if I find an artist I really like, then I will buy their album on Apple Music, mm -hmm. and then I can have it on a plane if I want to sleep real good. I can listen to it in a house. I can listen to it with a mouse. Exactly. Just something about the way you said on a plane <laughs> just sounded very Seuss-like. Yeah. I could listen to it on a train. I, I named my penis Lois Vane. <laughs> which you did. I can't yeah. believe you don't remember that. No, I still don't. You gotta, you gotta let me listen to this clip, man. It, I can't remember the, the specifics of it, but I'm sure if we say it, someone in the comments will remind us of it. Somebody will find so, it. I believe it was a 10-minute power hour where someone asked us to name... A come up with a term for dick that was like Superman related or or superhero related in some way, uh, and y you you suggested Lois Vane, which I thought was just brilliant. Thanks, man. Some of your finest work. There's so, you know there's something in there. There's some kind of latent thing in there that's that, that he sleeps a lot. What are we talking about? Like my my like joke center in my brain. Yes. He's in there. And he's and he's, he's he he can be really good, but he sleeps a lot. I understand. So he takes nights off. <laughs> yes. So there's a lot of moments where I'm like, hey man, I could really use your help right now. And he's like, uh, sorry, I got I, nothing. I got nothing for night. you. I just, just give me a couple hours. Yeah. Don't you love like when you're performing in front of an audience, some sort of comedic thing, and like someone tosses you a ball that you're supposed to knock out of the park and your brain's just like, ah, I don't know. <laughs> yes. I got nothing. That, that's why um, I was taught not to uh, ask questions in improv scenes. Yes, yeah, yeah, 100 Because you're, you know, you're, you're challenging the part of someone's brains. I mean, like, plenty of improv people can do it really well, but, or answer it really well, but it, it kind of puts them on the spot instead of, like, building something right. together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was one of the first lessons I learned when I did that brief class. Yeah. Um, and it's true, man. It is. It's like when you... You can see it happen to, like, less experienced people and you just, like, ask them a question and they're like... Oh, um... Oh, okay. Uh, th this? Now's my chance! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Improv is tough, man. Yeah. When, when you see people uh, do it really well. Like when we saw... Uh, Middle Ditch and Ben Schwartz. Yeah. Like, amazing. Yeah. So, amazing at what they do. Some of the most incredible improvisers. And, uh, that's something that I'm envious of, too, because, like, you know, we cut out our little niche, and I think you have a lot more experience, like, with general improv. I, mean, um, I studied it for, like, ten years. Exactly. But, like, you know, I did it briefly, and I've just kind of been doing it my whole life naturally in Yeah, I mean, this show, this show is improvised. Right. So it's like, in the context of stuff like this, I can, I can do pretty well. But yeah. But it's like, if I'm on stage and I have to do a fucking scene or whatever, I'm like, Duh. <laughs> Remember in the early days when people would question all the time if this show was scripted? And I, I just remember thinking to myself, like, when would we have the time <laughs> to write hour-long scripts? I it was the power hour. The power when, hour, when too. When the power hour first came out, people yeah. thought it was scripted. Oh, definitely not. I wish, though. If it was scripted, don't you think it would be gooder? <laughs> 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 I think this is the swan one. Oh, I like the swan one. I have to gather up swans. What is it? There's something missing. Is it our royal present? No. Something more. Eureka! We have it. It's not graceful. The sky is utterly lacking in grace. It does not float like a butterfly or sachet like the king. Sigh. It's just not there at all. Oh no. What's graceful on earth? Swans, that's what. <laughs> What's graceful on earth, swans? Yep. All right, good. Well, that's the end of that conversation. Sending things to earth. God, this this game is so bizarre. If you roll these up, they'll start tweeting and hatching. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm getting swans. Yep. Seven minutes. Oh, this is all- this is the second best song on the soundtrack. Wait, uh -huh. The stars, they don't have enough grace. Roll up some swans! <laughs> <laughs> just, just 
fucking absolutely just demolish some swans. Yeah, like, okay, you kind of you kind of went from A to C there, but uh, it's fine. I'll do it. <laughs> It's like that, uh, it's like that meme. You know that meme of the guy, like, knocking out dominoes that get bigger and bigger? It's knocking like the, the small domino is like, the space has no grace. Oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, big yeah. domino is like, Roll up the make swans. a big ball of swans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get it. Duckling. This song fucking rules. Is there a way to get those eggs without launching the trap? Just, you know, just kind of gently. Just kind of beep beep beep. Oh, oh. Yeah, okay. Well, it's I think fun. you're just supposed to go back and forth. Yeah, that's fun. You went right by a very important egg. Got it. Aww. I don't think people at home can hear it, but Aaron and Allie are both singing the lyrics to this song perfectly. It's so good. Wow. Star, in the sky. It's one of those. It's like, is the lyricist? Is he the singer? I don't know why I said lyricist. Mm -hmm. Somebody who writes lyrics. Uh, is the singer? Is he Japanese? I don't know. I don't know either. Because he's he's just so. It it sounds like he's a native English speaker. But I love music like this. Like hearing those vibraphones and like, oh, like very '60s sounding. Yeah, like kind of. Pseudo crooner. Oh my god, you know who I've gotten way into? Wow. I absolutely love his music. Um, have you ever heard of Cal? I believe it's pronounced Chater or Jader. It, it's it's a weird spelling. C A L is his first name, and then his last name is T J A D E R. Nah, dude. He was a vibraphone player in the 60s, 70s. I think he died in the early 80s. But like, oh no. his shit is so smooth to listen to. Um, if if anyone wants to check out a song of his, I really like the song Aquarius um, from 1968. He's it's got um, it, a tribe called Quest, which is my favorite rap group. They used a ton of his songs in samples. Oh shit! Um, and that's how I got into him. But it's just like this super smooth. You lost an egg. Um, super smooth vibraphone playing stuff, and I love it. The al the album is called The Prophet. That it's on. Ooh. I know, I know, man. I hope he made a lot of profit off of his music. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I believe it's the the prophet, as in like one who prophesizes. Right. But that's fine. Ooh, a whole nest, a whole nest of babies to exploit. Uh, <laughs> these are ducklings. <laughs> Fuck. Shit. That's fine. There's eggs on the ground. <laughs> Gotta pick up the egg on the ground. Boy, when was that? A grape off the ground? Yeah, that was like the prophesized... That was from the calendar April. <laughs> yeah, it had to be like 2014, maybe? 2015? Holy shit. Remember the calendar April? I do. Great idea. <laughs> you were like, yeah. let's do a calendar that doesn't function as a calendar. People well, are gonna love it. It's not... We wanted to make a calendar, but we were too late in the printing process. So we just decided to do it anyway. Started in April. It was really dumb. It was dumb, but fun. Well, I mean, it didn't function anyway. There was an entire month. I think uh, April, March, April. No, I th there was one month where it you was, just wrote the number four a bunch of times. Yeah, and yeah. then every day was four. I do remember that. It was a helpful thing, which is really funny. It was great as a comedy thing. Yeah, just exactly. Terrible well, as a calendar. I just feel like, you know, you only live once. YOLO, as they say. Yup. And you might as well- <laughs> Yas. Yas, yas, go on, yas. yas. Um, and I just feel like, you know, fucking do it up. Like, do the things you want to do. Make the art that you want to make. And my art was the Game Grumps calendar. <laughs> yeah, it sure was, Aaron. <laughs> we had a lot of good jokes in that fucking thing. We had Tom Hanks giving. Tom Hanks giving! <laughs> oh man, I forgot about that. Yeah. I remember there was a quote at the top of every month. Mm hmm. And one of the months was, well, well, well. And then the, the person who said it was the well inspector inspecting his wells. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Love it. Great stuff. <laughs> so 
fucking dumb. I like how you approach the mouse traps very cautiously, even though you will absolutely get rocketed no matter what. Yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah, I guess I guess in my mind it's like maybe. <laughs> yeah, they, this could be the one. There's a chance. I love that those little chicks are born with do rags on their heads or whatever it is. Yeah, they're little baby it's, ducklings. It's very cute because they're they gotta go out and do the wash. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, you know. Bandanas? I don't know what you call those. Yeah, they're just little head bandanas. Yeah. You gotta go out and put the clothes on the clothesline. Make an egg. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoops! Yeah. Is this Ooh. guy golfing with eggs? Uh, oh, to the left. Was. To the left. Oh, fuck. Why do you want me to go to the left all of a sudden? Not that. You turned around completely. Yeah. Because those eggs are there. Oh, but I can't get under there. Really? Yeah, I'm too big now. Well, how about up here? I can oh, do that. Oh god, eggs are just flying off of here. Yeah, I'm not- I'm not being super graceful, which is ir ironic. Yeah, that's, that's what mission. you're supposed to do. Oh, uh, Damn, this is the worst I've done this entire game. This is... A fucking disgrace. <laughs> just kidding. Cool, well... Happy holidays. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that we present I got you see. back. We see. doll, we suspect. Hina doll. I don't know. I don't know what a Hina doll is. Oh, here's some what a Hime doll is. Eggy wags. Oh, fuck yeah, baby. Good job. Did you know if you start a ball on a spinning platform and you start it out and let it roll, it'll just stay on the platform and that's roll like, forever? That's like that video of that hamster we saw where it's just running along the wheel like bah, 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 with its little hamster legs. Yeah. Making it look like a little rotisserie chicken. I don't know, I think mine's cooler. Look at all those eggs you missed, good god! Oh, I'm such a fucking moron. Wee, very graceful. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Noisy things. We'll take the graceful rainbow back. Blech. Shit! Well, I really fucked up on that one. I don't know, it could that be good. Was lazy! Could be good enough. Look at that! Ooh. Oh, 62%. Commonplace. Commonplace. Fucking terrible. Fake grace. Grace Dude. light. Grace theft. It's like valor theft, but. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go. <laughs> I'm making stars with stolen valor over here. <laughs> stolen valor. Oh my lord. Oh, I can feel it. I, f I can feel the cosmos. Same. <laughs> Yo! Oh, she's like, she's like me for real. <laughs> That's my favorite, like when it's like five stars and it makes like this little pipe cleaner cross and then they just draw a perfectly formed goose around it, like, alright, let's get us this consolation. It's an asterism, Dan! I don't know what that means. Oh my god, listen to me, mm -hmm. right now, okay? okay? A constellation is a section of the night sky yep. that is named after the major asterism in it. The asterism being the star formation. Okay. So when you say the constellation Lyra, the star formation that makes the whatever the fuck Lyra is, a girl <laughs> I think, mm -hmm. is the asterism. Okay. And then the section of the sky that it commands is the constellation. Really? God, I'm so fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You started smiling before you were even done telling me that fact. <laughs> Because you started thinking about how cool you are. I've never seen that before. It was floating around in my head. Oh man. I remember that. It is exciting to do a show like this and like suddenly in the flow of conversation, um You just there, learn. There's a fact that like you feel very sure of is correct. And sometimes it even is. <laughs> and that's when the real good stuff yeah. happens. I cherish those moments because they don't oft come. Yeah, I get one a year. <laughs> I've been on the show for almost ten years, so I've I've had about nine thus far. Yeah. I'm due. It's okay, man. There's there there are very few things that I would say I command authority over in terms of knowledge. I don't even know what those are, but I'm sure I'll find them at some point. Absolutely. Cause it's like even because I think about it, right? And I'm like <laughs> Cause there's this show that College Humor does, right? It's mm -hmm. called, uh, Um Actually. College Humor's still around? Yeah. Wow. Good for them. They, uh, downsized, rebranded, and went, like, format heavy. And What'd they rebrand us? Just College Humor. Perfect. That was a, that was a bold choice. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean... We're gonna go in a different direction. 
We're gonna call it college humor. Well, I mean, just like the, you know, they, like the type of content they make. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, got it. Um, so it's, it's all format driven, right? So they do a lot of great shows like Game Changer and um, uh, make some noise. Okay. So they have a show called uh, Um Actually. But the idea is. Uh, it's the the it's a game show and the host will say a fact about a thing that's like kind of right and then the contestants have to chime in and be like um actually mm. it's this got it and it's hilarious cool it's usually about like Dungeons and Dragons shit stuff like that but I was thinking like oh what would I be able to do that over and like nothing. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's like there's a lot of stuff that I'm a really big fan of, like Mega Man or Magic the Gathering or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I'm not like I don't. I'm not crazy in the know about any of that shit. I just like it. Hmm. You know. I feel like that would be a good show to illustrate to me how little I know about so many things. Yeah, because I don't. I don't consume media that way. I just enjoy it. Right. And I'm like, yo, that really made me feel things. And then I like talk about it with my friends. And then like I go on with the rest of my life. Sure. I you know you know a show I've been watching a little bit recently? What? Um To Tell the Truth. Game Girl? Oh. They, no, they, I mean they're old episodes, I guess. They're a couple years old. But they have it on Hulu, so I've been watching some of the episodes and I gotta tell you, man, you, you know the format of that show, right? I've never even heard of it. It's it's a a remake of an old game show where they have a panel of celebrities, like four celebrities, yeah. and they have three people come in, and only one of the three people are what they say they are. So they'll like um, the one I saw yesterday, uh, which featured our boy Weird Al, as a matter of fact, oh, shit. was um, these. It's three pairs of two guys, and they, they the curtain raises, and they're, the first pair is like. Uh, we are Serena and Venus Williams uh, practice partners and then the second uh, Group of guys will be like we are Venus and Serena Williams tennis partners and then the third one says the same thing and the celebrity guests have to ask them questions and See try to figure out who's telling the truth right and Because uh, two of them are lying or two groups of them are like, and um, it helps if you know the field. It helps if you know the field. The thing that really uh, strikes me the most about it is that people are really fucking good at lying. Oh yeah. And I have no idea who's lying. I I think I get it r right maybe like twenty percent of the time at best. Yeah. And I'm just like no. And a lot of times I'm like. No way it's that guy. That's definitely a lie. And it turns out to be that guy. It's just The shit people will say with a straight face I'm like man, I gotta stop believing people so like blindly well we And don't... online it must be even worse because th then you're just reading the words <laughs> You know, you don't even have to like try to look at their faces for right. lying cues Well, the, the, the thing about that is we don't we're re humans are really bad at detecting lies like naturally, because, is that right? Yeah, because if we if we were really good at detecting lies, we wouldn't fucking trust anybody, right? Like we're we're like wired to trust people, because mm. otherwise, how would we procreate? Do you want to like? I don't fully understand that statement. But listen, if you if is there if you meet like a nice girl, right, and then. You're like, oh, but I'm constantly suspicious. I don't believe her. I don't trust her. You know, like, it's it, trust is like a thing that you. Oh, like you, you're you saying it's, it's important for society to function. Yes, for God, people I, to, to automatically trust each other I to a certain degree. Okay. Right. So we're the results of that is that we're bad at lying, right? Or, or we're we're bad at detecting lies. Right. Right. So no, people are good at lying. I think it's it's. I mean, scientifically. Uh, and there's- there's been studies on this, as far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong, everybody who wants to do that, um, but people who are like, I can detect lying because I look at, uh, face shit and stuff, and I can say, oh, I can tell when you look up, you're recalling instead of- Yeah, micro-expressions and right. stuff like that. Um, nobody can pass a test better than 50%. Really? Yeah. 
Like, it's, oh. you're always guessing, basically. I'll be damned. I, I mean, it's slightly more because some people are really bad at lying. Yeah. Um, but in terms of detecting lies, like, it's just, it's impossible. The, that show, it's just like one more nail in the coffin of me realizing how naive I've been my entire life, <laughs> you know? Or, or, or most of my life, I should say. Um, but like, that's fine though. It's, yeah, I mean, I guess it's it's just very eye opening, because you're like, fuck, I really have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I get you all the time. Is that right? Yeah. I feel like when I say we're friends, and <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, sometimes I'll just start saying shit, and you're like, oh, neat, and I'm like, that's all. I didn't know that's true. That is true. That is true. <laughs> Except I thought that was a me Ooh, thing, not yeah. like a humanity thing. Oh no, dude, it's. A Totally human thing. Mm. I mean, th th this isn't like there are people who are constantly suspicious. Oh sure. Um, but that's like a that's like a personality thing. That's not like a right. Yeah, there's there's no statement that applies to like all human beings. Right. Um, but yeah, that, so that's a fascinating show to watch. Pretty funny too. I bet. Yeah, somebody was like, I I. I'm a cartoonist, I'd be like, <laughs> here we yeah, go. Yeah, <laughs> like, I'd ask him the hard questions. <laughs> talking about tweening and shit. Oh, yeah. Shit. Is that when, like, you, uh... The... The cell between two movements? Uh... You could use that term to mean that, yes. Oh, okay. But tweening usually refers to... Uh, a computer filling in the gap for you. Oh, I see. Got it. So you like you you have like an object, and then you move that object digitally to another place, and you basically tell the computer like draw the frames in between. Huh? Because it's just one object, so it's just like moving it across the screen. But before computers were used in animation, uh, it was called in betweening. Oh, I see. To, to draw the. Uh, Got it. The in between frame, and it still is. Interesting. But if you say tweening, people usually know that you're referring to a computer doing it. Yeah, that's like the shorthand. Yeah. Interesting. Speaking of animation, um, Disney apparently bought the rights to Anastasia, which oh. is which is ironic. Oh, because it was Fox, right? Well, it was, it was a Don Bluth movie. Right, and, but the, the production company that owns it. Oh, yeah, I think it was Fox. But it's just funny because Don Bluth left Disney to make his own animated movies, and 30 years later, Disney owns everything to the point where they just bought it back. Yeah. Um, and I was like, I wonder if they'll just bury this, you know? Um, no. Nah. Out of, like, spite or whatever. I don't think so. No, it was quite the opposite. They immediately started selling merch for it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. They don't care. And, and it, and it and, did- And anybody who would be spiteful about it doesn't fucking work there anymore. I guess you're right. Although, I, I just wish, like, I wish there'd be more Black Cauldron stuff. I, I feel like that's, like, an old kind of hatred, you know? Because Black Cauldron almost bankrupted Disney's animation department because it was so over budget and didn't do well. But it's my favorite one, man. I don't think there's hatred. I think there's just acknowledgement that nobody saw it. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Just make a pin. Just make one Black Cauldron pin. Look, all you gotta do, listen, this is what you gotta do. Mm -hmm. You gotta start up a fucking, like, H-Bomber guy style, like, YouTube essay, uh, um, channel. Okay. And then you gotta make, like, why Black Cauldron is the best, most underrated Disney movie of all time. Okay. And call it that. And then make that video. Make it like three hours long, so most people don't watch it all the way through. <laughs> Add in some really funny jokes, like the first ten minutes. Yeah, put all the good stuff right up top. Yeah, and then release it, and and then people will be like, yeah, fucking Black. Ca and then it'll start this whole movement where people will be like, I always liked Black Cauldron. <laughs> yeah, because it's so good. It's not because I watched the the Dan Bomber guy video. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sounds good to me, man. So do that, and then you'll- and then you'll get your merch. Oh, man. You, you have the power to change things, Dan. That'd be amazing. Your influence... Er. Is, <laughs> <laughs> is- is existent. Wow. I- I truly never think about that. 
I, what, like changing the world with your power? Ugh, please don't. <laughs> please don't call it that. It just makes me feel so awkward. Hey man, sometimes. I feel like there's a couple things that I've I've done over time that I didn't realize until later. There are still people, and I don't believe this, um, but there are people that think that I influenced Zelda Breath of the Wild with sequelitis. Really? Yeah, because, you know, there's that there's that part where I talk about, like, oh, what if you had a Goron and he follows you around and he eats rocks? Mm-hmm. And you gotta, like, and he helps you, but oh, that he's, did happen. he's kinda dying. Yeah. And then they put, a, like, a Goron escort mission in, in Breath of the Wild. I, I think that was a pure coincidence, but there are a lot of people, I've gotten a lot of emails and a lot of comments of people being like, DUDE! Yeah, I mean, you never dude. know. It may not have been direct, but you might have put the idea in someone's head who told someone else who told someone else, you know? I, I, it's very flattering, but I really, I just, I think it's neat that they went and did it, you know? Yeah. Uh, and it wasn't exactly what I was saying in the video, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be like, yeah, well. Now that was my idea first. <laughs> oh, a really simple idea that uh, many video games have done before. I, I also don't know how much you'd get from approaching Nintendo and saying, like, you stole my Zelda idea. <laughs> <laughs> Give it back! Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't Anyway, know. I've made money off of your video games for a decade. Yeah, yeah, full <laughs> decade. I can't believe... You didn't try to stop this a long time ago. So well, they, they did, didn't they? Uh, they, they did that thing where they, like, tried to become an MCN. Didn't, uh, it didn't work. No. Hmm. Because they didn't, you know, they don't know anything about that shit. I can understand. They probably watched a couple Let's Plays using their games, and they were like, this is stolen valor. And <laughs> <laughs> then they were like, we have a right to this. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this old guy. Oh, ah! <laughs> it's a stolen valor. That's what they were thinking. I don't know why that phrase makes me laugh so much. <laughs> it's so insane. I think it's because, like, it sounds so dramatic, and honestly, I have no fucking clue what it means. It, it, I think it means pretending that you were in the military when you weren't. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Isn't that just a lie? Why yeah, is mean, that stolen valor? Sure. You can lie about anything. I know, but I think it's like so personal to, to the people who are uh, making the statement that they, you know, had to create their own phrase for it. Yeah, I guess so. Because, like, I could just say, like, I sucked David Bowie's dick once. And it's like, is that stolen valor? No, it's just a lie. I mean, is it's, it a it's, lie, it's, though? It's not stolen valor either, by the definition. There's nothing valorous about sucking David Bowie's dick, Aaron. Uh... In fact, most of the time you were alive, he was married, so that would probably make you a harlot. <laughs> Who's trying to break up someone's marriage. Hold on, I'm looking up the, the definition of valor. Great courage in the face of danger, especially in battle. Okay, maybe it does apply to David Bowie's dick. <laughs> Next time on Game Grumps! Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm gonna piss my own pants.